Next Chevy is a Bradbury. Bury. I died in 81 on June 5th. Um, they said it was a long illness. Um, they wrote Fahrenheit 451 and my favorite one, The Martian Chronicle. They both like kind of weird, but I love that one a little bit more than Fahrenheit 451. I've also read um, Something Wicked This May Come. I think that's the title of it. I read the three like major ones from him. Um, I wasn't sad or, or shocked or anything. Um, I was shocked that he was still living. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to pay tribute to him in this way. Um, I love reading. I love most authors and I loved his work. So, I wanted to pay tribute to him for that. Um, his death was, for some reason, this frustrated me because I was just thinking of all the ones who have left so far this year. And just being like little, I don't know, just. There's so many going this year, and so many people that have changed the world and changed um, the outlook on things, and they're going, and we're not really being left with anyone that can come close to them and what they've done. And um, Ray Bradbury, he was an incredible author. Um, he had all people open their minds, sci-fi and that world and everything. And Fahrenheit 451 is an incredibly important book about censorship. And and just Fahrenheit 451 has so much futuristic talk in it that actually came true. Somehow he was able to write modern stuff that hadn't even happened yet, but it happened eventually. Like, it did happen. All the stuff that he wrote about in the book pretty much came true. So it's kind of weird that he was able to predict what he did um, about the future. Um, <clears throat> but um, that's all for him. Have one more. Um, goodbye.